Now let's look at a couple of other tools that are specifically related to coloring items inside of Photoshop. What I want to point out now is the paint bucket tool. And as you can see here, the keyboard shortcut associated with the paint bucket tool is G. So when you're using this, you'll notice, as with any other tool, you have options available at the top. Um, over here, we can see that we can either fill the paint bucket as if we were pouring a bucket of paint onto this picture. I could fill that with the foreground color, which in this case is a green. You can click that once or twice and choose a different color if you want a blue duck, for example. And you'll notice that you can also choose a pattern. I can fill this information with patterns. There are a number of defaults that come associated with Photoshop. And we'll take a look at both of those options. As well, uh, we can place this in a specific mode. Uh, for example, we're in normal mode right now, but these blend modes will be discussed much further. You should look into the video chapter on layers and blend modes. Nevertheless, as you can see here, you can apply different blend modes, which will allow you to affect this in a different way. As well, we can also affect opacity or how uh, how much opacity of that particular paint bucket if it's halfway through or more. As well, you'll be able to notice that there's an area here indicating tolerance. And what tolerance indicates is whether or not this particular fill is going to address one specific color or as many different colors as possible. And I'll explain that first and foremost as we go along. Also, there's anti-alias. And anti-alias determines this sort of chunkiness that you would notice at the edge of something. If I were to view this at 100%, you can see here that uh, the edge of duck looks very, very sharp, very crisp, right? And that's because if you were to zoom in on this particular object, you'll notice that it's not just a perfect line at the edge here, but there are some very soft little pixels as we go along. That's the anti-alias effect that you would notice. And if we were to take in some of this paint bucket here, Tolerance at 32, which is the uh, default, and that's you know gives you a fairly good range of tolerance, but you can increase or decrease that, and I'll show you in a second. Contiguous means whether or not the color that you particularly have selected is going to be a connected color to exactly the same color, or if we remove that, uh, even if the colors are not connected, it will turn all of that specific color the color that you're determining here. So let's take a look. If I were to go in here, you'll notice that it doesn't really do much for us. And simply because there's a, a wider range of yellows that are being used. You will recognize, however, that, you know, as we continue along in this fashion, we can get a better crisper edge as we move along. So let's increase the tolerance for a second. Let's see what doing something at, say, 77 tolerance does. Ah, you'll see that that reaches out even wider. And let's also take a look at this area here, you'll notice that there is an anti-alias effect that is underway. And you'll notice that it's not just pure blue, it's got that fuzzy effect as well. If I go back to normal, and let me undo that for a second, and if we were to use no anti-alias on that effect, let's take a look. You'll notice that the edge is a lot chunkier looking. And that's simply because, look, what's left here is the yellow anti-alias. There's no anti-alias for the blues. See, there's no light blues associated with it. That's why it looks chunky. So just be aware of that. That's a little explanation for what an anti-alias effect is, actually. So if we keep that on and increase the tolerance even more, as you can see here, it's much more forgiving as to like how much of that yellow it takes. And certainly, you can come in here and fill in the rest of the information. And as you'll see, you've paint bucket dropped in a lot of paint with the paint bucket to color this particular picture blue.